Hey, what's going on guys? Today I have a bag to review, a fairly large bag. This is the Maxpedition um, rolling luggage bag. I used this when I took a trip down to Florida. I spent uh, eight days down there and uh, this is the, the main bag, the only bag that I took. Uh, I originally got this because I wanted to get a specific bag that I would be able to have um, on the airplane for carry-on. And this is made for you know TSA specs or within TSA specs, so you can use this bag fully loaded. And believe me, I packed this thing to where the <laughs> zippers look like they're about to explode. Um, and I've used the bag that entire trip. And since then, I've also used it just um, you know transporting things in the car back and forth. And I love the bag. So I figured it's time to do a review on it and talk about it a little bit. Um, this comes in three different colors. I got the OD green just because I like OD green. Although, I think when I got this, they didn't have the, the newer one available. It also comes in black, which is standard, but I'm kind of tired of black. I mean, I love black bags for the most part, but, you know, I'm just kind of getting tired of black, so I wanted something with color. I like OD green, plus I have a couple accessories that I might eventually use with this that are OD green. But what's kind of newer is they have a khaki and foliage green combination where the entire bag's khaki and the foliage green is on all the accents, like the straps, the molly webbing on the front, um, nameplate, stuff like that is all accented with the foliage green. So it's a nice little contrast, but of course it is a lighter color being um, khaki. So basically the entire bag um, filled up, or close to being filled up, is 14 inches by nine inches by 22 inches. Um, there's a top pocket. It's kind of like the main pocket for your accessories. This is 12 inches by four inches by six inches. It weighs about half, eight and a half pounds. Um, I weighed this at 8.9 pounds with the uh, shoulder strap on there. And when I had this completely filled up, I weighed it again and it weighed 41 pounds. So when this thing is filled up, it's pretty heavy. And now I went down to Florida for eight days with this and I ended up bringing um, clothes for every single day. It was hot weather environment, so I had um, seven pairs of shorts, seven t-shirts, I brought two long sleeve shirts, one pair of pants, and a light jacket. So that's what I had as far as clothing in here. Uh, besides that, I had other accessories, I had like my cell phone stuff, my charging things, I had, um, uh, you know, a bunch of oddball things. I had a lot of EDC gear, most things I could take to the airport, I had some flashlights, stuff like that. But for the most part, um, it was just mostly clothes. Uh, I did have a, a separate bag with toiletries, you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that, uh, deodorant. But they were all like the, you know, TSA approved little trial size things. So, anyway, that's pretty much the bag. I'm going to go over how I used it and some of the options here. As far as materials, again, with anything with Maxpedition, it's all high-end. Really, really high-end stuff. Um, I would say most companies out there are doing about the same as far as the materials. You pay a premium for, for stuff like this. I mean, this bag's almost 300 bucks, $289 on their website. There are other places you can get it slightly cheaper, but there's not a whole lot of outlets for this specific bag. And for that amount of money, you want to get something that's going to last. All right, so you're going to get the same thing that you get with all Max Edition gear, 1,000 denier nylon, at least for the outside. The inside, you have 420 um, denier nylon. All right, it doesn't need to be as heavy duty, but it's still very, very durable. I didn't have any problems with it, and I was kind of rough with this, you know, getting stuff in and out. I wasn't trying to baby it at all. Uh, you do have a bunch of um, name brand stuff on here as far as materials. Like all Max Edition stuff, the zippers are all YKK zippers. They all come with the little paracord pulls on them. Of course, you can add whatever you want if you want to make it easier uh, to open those or, you know, quicker access. Um, actual uh, Teflon on here, actual Velcro brand Velcro. You know, the Duraflex or the buckles. I mean, everything on here is name brand stuff. And steel, too. I mean, for the shoulder straps, we have steel buckles. So, as far as quality is concerned, it's top quality. As far as tactical gear, because this is named a tactical luggage bag, I don't, I don't see why it's necessarily tactical, other than the fact that it is very, very hard use. It's the same quality standards as all the military gear that's out there. All right, it's as good as it could get. And as far as um, stitching, if you look in some of the details on here, the stitching's all double stitched and cross stitched. It's, it's very, very durable. You can really beat on this thing and not have to worry about it falling apart. Um, as far as different ways to carry this, there's obviously a main strap on top. I did use this a little bit, uh, kind of like a duffel bag. There's also main straps that are very uh, reinforced on the top here, as well as on the side, if you wanted to carry it that way. But as far as the weight distribution, when th this thing is packed up, the easiest way I found to carry it was like this. Now the biggest thing, this being a rolling luggage bag, we do have an extending handle on the front. Let me close this up. 
So it obviously stands up like this. There are some different contact points on the bottom. So it will stand without falling. And there's wheels on here. So it makes it a rolling luggage bag. These are like uh, rollerblade style wheels. They're very quiet. I haven't had any, any kind of problems with it squeaking or anything. I didn't lube them up. This is just as I got the bag. They're extremely quiet. They're very easy to use. I never had a tip over or fall over or anything like that. Um, but the top here does extend out. It extends out 48 inches. There's a, a button lock, which I really like. So it's not going to pop out on its own. It doesn't just pop out and, and push back in. Um, you have to push this in to unlock it. Once you unlock it, it extends out. And it'll lock in the open position, just like that. It can use it. This is what I used walking to the airport and when I was going back and forth to the car. It's very, very easy. It's very comfortable. Having a 48 inch extension and the size of the bag itself, I'm six foot even and I very easily could carry this. Now, of course, depending on how tall or short you are, it would just be a different angle. But it was very, very easy to use. It's very, very quiet. And I mean, it's perfect for, for its intended purpose. All right, when you wanna push this back in, again, you'd have to push this button in to unlock it. And if you look down here, pushing the button in retracts this pin, okay, which sticks out, doesn't allow the square tubage to, to move in on itself. All right, so that unlocks it, pushes back in, and locks back in the frame. So as far as functionality for like a luggage style bag, it's perfect. It works exactly how it's supposed to work. The bottom there's heavy duty rubber here and there's also a lot of uh kind of buffer pads that um kind of aid in when this is sitting down especially with all that weight when you do rest this you want to rest it like this or upright basically the only two positions you can do so but there's a lot of uh rubber buffers on the bottom to i guess help with the wear and to keep it more sturdy it's sitting like this so it's not going to roll around so there's two ways you can really use this bag one, which originally I was going to, but I ended up not, is keeping it as one big pocket. What I mean by that is that when it's open, you could just have both sides open. There's a separate zipper here. So you can take this, this flap, kind of put it underneath, and have this one big open section. Of course, there's a divider here with Velcro. And there's also about an eight inch flap of Velcro on there. So you can use this divider as, let me get this in frame for you. Um, from here, all the way over to this point here, depending on how you wanna you know, put everything in here. I just put it in the middle. It was the easiest thing to do. It's very stiff. There's a piece of uh, uh, plastic in the middle there. Keep it rigid. So I just put it right in the middle. And I kept basically shorts on one side, t-shirts on the other side, stack them up as much as possible. And like I said, you could keep this as one big open section, but I did like to kind of specify where things were. I put like underwear and socks in one section, but I kept it as two separate pockets. So this is one main pocket for all the shorts and the t-shirts. And I did have one pair of pants on that side. And on the other side here, I did use this flap. So when I opened it up, we have, um, more straps here to kind of tie down any of our, our clothing. Uh, I'll talk about this. This pocket is actually from the exterior part, which I'll, when I close the, the bag again, I'll show you how that works. But basically we have two big main compartments here. You can use this one big pocket or you can use this two. So I use this two. I did use the divider for the clothes. And then here I put all the underwear and socks and stuff and buckled these up and cinched them down. So everything was nice and tight and it worked really good for me. Now, there are some things I don't like about this bag, but I have to show you from the outside. But anyway, once you lock everything in there, you can zipper this to keep it separate. And you also have a separate pocket on the front here. And you want to keep in here. This would be uh, easy to keep all your toiletries. That's what I did. I ended up keeping all my toiletry stuff in here separate from the clothes. Right, so here's what I don't like about it. Um, first of all, this pocket on the top, this kind of main pocket, when you're looking at it from the front, just like this. This pocket was used the most. This is my quick access pocket. I think any kind of luggage bag, you want some kind of exterior pocket that you can quickly get to things. If you're on vacation, maybe you want to grab your camera, you know, maybe you want to keep your cell phone in there, some spare money in there, um, you know, some of your chargers, that's what I did. I used my, my phone charger in there um, when I was in the hotel room. So it's just easily accessible from the outside of the bag. You don't necessarily want to open the entire bag, rummage through the clothes, or other pockets in order to get your simple small accessories. Uh, particularly when I got my plane ticket. When I'm wandering around the airport, you know, it's time to get my ticket. I'm rushing over, you know, walking through security, stuff like that. It's easily accessible. So this pocket on the top was was very nice to have. 
Now, when you use this pocket, it pushes out into the interior of the bag. That's okay. It is what it is. But when this pocket is basically packed up with stuff, you're limiting what you can have on the inside as far as clothing. That's not a huge deal. The only real problem I have with this bag was that there's this pocket. Let me undo the strap to show you this. You have this very large pocket on the front here. I like this, by the way. I mean, on all Max Edition bags, they always have some kind of Velcro on the front for your name tapes or any kind of, you know, patches that you may have. This is good, especially for luggage. If you if you wanted to, you can put some of your information on there, maybe your last name. You don't necessarily have to do that. It might be a security risk in your opinion. But anyway, it's easily identifiable. Not that everyone in the airports could have a Max Edition bag, but it's nice to just quickly identify what's yours. What I didn't like about this bag was this front pocket. This front pocket... It's supposed to give you access inside the bag, which is, it's okay in theory, but how I think most people would pack this bag, especially using these straps on the other side, you'd have all your clothes in here and done up nice. I don't see how you'd want to get into this compartment this way because you're, you're accessing it from the back. If you were to pack your luggage bag, like most people would, and you stack all your clothes and stuff like that, you're now on the back side of that. I suppose you could just put miscellaneous items in there. I didn't like it because I wanted to put all my um, toiletry stuff in this bag. This is just a, you know, see-through pocket here. Or pouch, I should say. And I wanted to put stuff in here. But I didn't like that it was accessing all the clothes. Because when I opened this bag, I had socks and stuff fall out. So it was very inconvenient. So I just didn't like how this was set up. I think that I understand design wise why you'd want access quick access i guess to the inside of the bag but i don't see why you wouldn't just open the whole thing up if you want to get in the inside because that pocket is separate it's the other half of the entire bag so design wise i just didn't prefer it like this it doesn't necessarily mean this bag is bad it's just something i didn't like so i would much have preferred this to be a solid piece of material in there and this pocket to open up into a normal pocket and not have access into the inside of the bag so in short, if I want to get in the bag, I'd open the bag in the middle, not from the front. But again, that's a preference thing more so than it is, I think, a bad design flaw. I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock this design for it. It's just something I didn't like. It's something I didn't really realize until after I got the bag, too. I mean, of course, we look online, we look at specs and stuff like that, but sometimes we don't really have an understanding of something until we actually get it. And that's why we watch these things called reviews on YouTube. Very helpful sometimes. But anyway, it does come with a uh, shoulder strap which I did not use, that's what attached to here. Um, that's if you had, you know, if you wanted to carry it over the shoulder, but I packed this up with way too much weight to comfortably carry it over the shoulder, at least for, you know, for what I was gonna use it for. So getting back into the inside, I will show you that you can access the, um, the interior of the bag via this zipper here. So you have a zipper right down the, the middle here. This basically gives you access to the frame. So if you needed to come in here, you could actually remove the, um, the extended handle. If you wanted to take it off, maybe, I don't see why you'd have to repair it, but if you didn't want it or something, you could remove that. This is how you'd access that. You could store stuff under here. I don't see why you would. Maybe if you wanted to stash something, I mean, obviously you're not gonna get through any kind of security areas by hiding anything. They're using x-ray machines, but Maybe just for your own personal feeling of being safe, you could stash a little bit of money or important things underneath the liner and then put all your clothes on top of it, you know, if you wanted to do that. So if someone was just quickly rummaging through your bag somewhere, uh, you wouldn't have to worry about them getting your important stuff because it would be inside the frame, you know, framework of the, uh, the bag. So that's it. That's the Max Edition rolling luggage bag. Um, for 300 bucks, it's a great deal. If you actually shop around for luggage, Unless you're going down to like Target to get a, a cheap bag or something. I mean, you're going to pay hundreds of dollars for a good piece of luggage. You can easily pay $1,000 or more for a set of luggage. But, um, you know, I trust the Max Edition. I always have for lots of different gear. The quality is there. Like I said, all the stitching is right. Um, everything's straight on here. Everything's great, high quality, name brand materials. And I'm very happy with it. It's worked great. It's been quiet. You know, it's been functional and it's strong. And that's what I want in a bag. I don't want anything busting open on vacation, having a problem. So I have confidence with this bag, and I like it. So I want to do a review on it in case you guys are in the market for getting something like this. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take care.